the most tolerant person towards all religion akbar and his concept of din e ilahi so let's understand the religious policy of akbar he maintained a very very liberal and we can say secular policy where he believed that every religion is good all the good points of all religion should be combined into one and all religion ultimately leads to god there was a tax which was zakia and pilgrimage tax which was levied on non muslims akbar intentionally abolished this zakia and pilgrimage tax this also benefited him in his alliances with the rajput kingdoms where he followed the matrimonial alliances and therefore this policy gained a huge momentum also he was one of the only leaders in the mughal empire who allowed hindus to build temples not only just build temples but even gave grants to hindus to build the temples he forcibly uh, he stopped the forcible conversion to islam and under his court under his uh, nine gems was fazi fazi was one of his nine gems and he translated numerous hindu literatures into persian bhagavad gita ramayana mahabharat are some of those to quote he allowed all religious uh, religious freedom to all religion he celebrated festivals like diwali and holi and showed how secular he was and he built a ibadat khana ibadat khana was a, a hall we could say a hall of worship now this ibadat khana has its own importance because it was a place where religious debates used to be held by religious preachers from all religions be it hindus muslims jains buddhists and all across the religions there was a common a uh, place where religious debates were held and this was ibadat khana the hall of worship also as he during his religious debates brought the concept that all good points of each religion should be taken into account so he created his own concept which was din e ilahi a way of life and the idea was that we believe just in one god so under din e ilahi akbar himself considered to be a spiritual guide he followed the concepts of peace and religious tolerance he disapproved the uh, the practices like sati pratha he also said that killing of animal for meat is insane and should be stopped sul ekul which is a universal peace concept was laid down under his din e ilahi which was the way of life Akbar did not had huge great following under his din e ilahi as he did not force anyone to join his new way of life and his new concept he united people and asked them to preach for peace there was a code of conduct but as mentioned this code of conduct was not forced on anyone so his ideas remain very very liberal very very unique and none of the people were forced to follow his principles and as a result his din e ilahi the way of life had few followers